Vinny Caravella. That's me, Alex Navarro. Wait, no, that's not right. I I'm need, Vinny Caravella. I need to tell you yes. about my ex-boyfriend, the Space Tyrant. Oh, lay it on me, Alex. So I've got this this ex-boyfriend. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know exactly when we broke up, mm. but apparently... It wasn't clear is, to you? No, but he is he is going around the galaxy, and he is blowing shit up, and that's not cool. Why did you get involved with this guy? Because he was a really nice dude at the outset, and then just something happened. I don't know. Was it you, not him? It was it, definitely him. It was definitely him. <laughs> it was definitely him? It was the tyrant part that really... Yeah, the part where he built a fortress out of a hollowed-out asteroid and started destroying entire worlds. Yeah. That's that's where I kind of, kind of drew the line. You do like the bad boys. I do. I always fall So them. what are you going to do about it? I'm going to go get him. And can you go get him on Steam? I can go get him on Steam. <laughs> this is my ex-boyfriend, the Space Tyrant. This is a gay-themed adventure game. Uh-huh. Uh, a comedy adventure featuring, uh, a, as far as I can tell, in this world, uh, predominantly just gay men all over the place okay. occupying this universe. And a lot of kind of just like big old stereotypical gay humor? I mean, in the sense that it's... There is a lot of innuendo. Okay. Let's put it that way. In your endo. Yeah. Like, for instance, check out this laser gun. Yeah. What does that look like to you? Uh, the Mach uh, 37 uh, Blithco laser gun? I don't know. What does it look like to you? A giant pink, pink dildo. Man, your mind is always in the gutter. I know. I know. Uh, so yeah, this is a point-and-click adventure game. Uh, it is it is humorously themed. Uh, How humorously? How are you finding the humor? Uh, you know, here's the thing. There are moments when I have definitely laughed. There are others where the jokes have kind of landed a little flat for me. And sure. part of the problem is that there is no voice acting in this game. It's all written dialogue. And while I think some of the jokes manage to transcend that, a lot of them kind of don't. Mm, mm, mm. Um, yeah, so you're saying like the, the delivery and stuff. Yeah. Like, this is kind of cute, the way they sort of present this guy who is apparently the, the evil overlord that He's you were going tyrant? to hunt. Yeah. But, yeah, a handsome guy. Yeah, but then, you know, a lot, there's, well, here, let's, let's go to the next thing. I mean, it's got like a very, to me it looks like, you know, ambiguously gay duo. Like, is, is it that kind of humor? Wow. It's, it's this. It's a lot of, I mean. I couldn't pull those off. That's what happens to me. This is, here you go. Yeah. The lift is is a prime example of okay. the kind of jokes you will see sure. in this game. I uh that looks like my butt when I'm like putting cables, <laughs> wiring cables I, around. I wish my butt looked like that. Holy well, shit, that uh, guy is like he's got the bubble <laughs> ass on top of being super muscly in tone, and that is a rare combination. I should say the the amount of clothing to butt ratio, not sure. the actual shape of my okay, butt. Okay, gotcha, yeah. yeah. Cause I mean, honestly, I've never met a man who had a butt like that. Never. <laughs> never. Uh, so, so what do you got to do? Okay, so this is the very beginning of the game. This is the first, uh, the first mission. Mm -hmm. uh, you have been transported to this ship to go deal with your ex-boyfriend, who is apparently going around invading worlds. Are you some kind of like space hero? You are a space hero who is reluctant. You were uh, not in service at the time, and you have been taken by the Galactic Fleet to go back and hunt down this dude because okay. you are the only one who can stop him. Okay. Uh, in this case, this, the first level I'm going to is a planet. Uh, called New Camelot, which is a medieval-themed planet. Okay. Uh, I don't know exactly how deep the theming goes. Please push my buttons. Uh-huh. Uh, but this one so far has a whole, like, medieval theme to it, and it seems like some of the other worlds you will be visiting will have a similar kind of uh, sure, like deal theme. going on. Yeah. Hopefully a West... It's, it's like a uh, Westworld. Sort of, in a way. Is but, there going to be a... But, uh... but extremely gay. <laughs> Like, just, like, just everything oh, is pretty gay. So, like, Westworld. Yeah. Like, is there going to be a giant Yul Brenner? I think it's Yul Brenner, right? Doesn't he take his face off? God, it's been so long since Westworld I Westworld. Westworld is fucking creepy You know they're remaking out. Westworld for HBO, right? It's a series. What? Yeah, they're doing a series of Westworld on HBO. I, I don't want to live I think in Anthony world. Hopkins is in it. <gasps> That's frightening. Yeah. Wait, what happened to your clothes that make it? They like to disappear every time you use the transmat. Okay. It's a good thing there's a spare uniform right here. Oh. You know, so, uh, I forget who said it, um, uh, uh, Tim Schafer or, uh, it was an adventure game person was, was saying that humor in adventure games, very, very hard. Yeah. Very, humor in games, very, very hard. Here's the thing, none of the jokes are, like, super bad. Like, no, nothing I've seen was, like, you know, just, I, nothing, there's nothing offensive about this game in the slightest, yeah. it's just, here is a ton of sexual innuendo. Sure. That's just kind of cheeky and silly. Yeah. Not always actually funny, but, you know, th again, none of it really is bothersome either. 
That's a dead body. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, so I can right click now. How are the puzzles? Not. Not great. Mm. Not at, at least in the early goings of this game, they're not real great. It's a lot of run around between the same four locations over and over again uh, in varying orders just to you know try and keep you busy at various times. Are, are, do they, does it have a, how is its adventure game logic? Have you found the puzzles to be like, oh yeah, I know what to do with this, or like, I gotta click on everything and use every There have been a few instances where it has been the click on everything, which I'll, I'll okay. show in a minute, but uh, a lot of it actually is pretty straightforward. Like, they kind of tell you where to go, and, okay. and at least, if you're at least a little bit observant, you'll figure it out. Hey, can you double click on exits and stuff, to, or do you have to walk everywhere? You have to walk everywhere. Oh, why did I not? I oh, know. you know what, I think it was Ron Gilbert who said the humor in, in video games, one Here, of the toughest things. You know what, this, this is sort of the, the, the key conversation that lets you into this game's entire sense of humor right Why is Bon... Oh, wait. He's lost his boner. Is, is Boner like the name of his dog or something? Shh. Okay. Okay. His wife will be so upset that he's lost his boner. Uh -huh. He doesn't understand. Sure. Such a little boner. Yeah. So tiny and fragile. Uh -huh. Still doesn't understand. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. There we go. <laughs> Now we understand. It's all right. It's got a giggle out of me. Yeah. Again, that is that is the base level yeah. of this game's humor. Again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just sort of like... I'm going to say I saw it coming. Yeah. I saw it coming. Yes. Congratulations, <laughs> Vinny. You are directly in tune with this game's sense of humor. I'm a co-writer. Yeah, you might as well be. Uh, uh, all right, so I got to go find that, Same level guys. of like just real base, mm -hmm. like... <laughs> Puns and innuendo. Sure, yeah. And again, I think if there was someone actually delivering this dialogue, it would mm. land a lot better. It just doesn't have quite the same ring to you it would, when you're reading it. You would really need the right actor to yep. pull this off. Like that guy from uh, the teacher from uh, Ark would be great. Totally. Yeah. He was a terrific voice actor. Just now. All this stuff. The guy who was the Minotaur, like he could, he, you know, he has the sort of subtlety necessary Ooh, to I really like deliver. The, I like that guy. Frank. Uh, here's Justin. He is a he is an indentured serf in this. Uh, okay. In this world, and he's super hunky. Yeah. Uh, so that guy won't let me through because I don't have a pass. Okay. Um, which I have to get. I have to find the mayor's dog to get that pass. How much is this game? Uh, I think it's $10. $10? All right. It's definitely not a, a particular... I, I think it is. Sure. I can't remember the price right offhand, but I think it's 10 bucks. There's something like... if it... Okay. Did you ever... Uh, Fayer's Quest. Do you know what that game is? Which one? Fayer's Quest. No. T -H -A, uh, it was an arcade game. They brought it to uh, PC CD-ROM. In a weird way, it reminds me of that. It reminds me of early, like... CD, like CDI, CDI like style style. adventure yeah. games, like, yeah, totally. Like if it had like a really elaborate animated cut, like intro in the beginning, that was like, hey, we put this cartoon in the beginning, now it's all this. Okay, so the dog isn't going to come just by me going to the dog, so uh, I have to go boner, back to please. the mayor and ask him, how do I acquire your boner? Uh -huh. We have. Yeah, okay. Watch this. Okay. Yep. He did not try very hard no. to avoid the innuendo there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Good so sample. Now, yeah. And that's pretty much the that's the the sound sample that plays pretty much every time you acquire something. So. All right. So. Would you say this is a very silly game? It's extremely silly. Um, very knowingly silly, and oh. I appreciate that on some level. Oh, he just bit you. Yeah. All right, so the dog uh, the dog ran off. I'm going to skip this part because I would have to walk back here again to get this, but I knew this is here. Okay. This is actually where the mayor's pass to get in is. You have nice. to pick that up, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Wait, so do you not have to get his You You go to... You, you bring back to the dog, and he's like, oh, thank you. And you're like, okay, can I have a pass now? And he's like, I don't know where it is. I dropped it. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. Oh, what a dick. Yeah, so I... I, I 
and so there was a guy in the bushes there too. Which... So you're not even gonna give his dog anymore? No, I already gave it. I I, I found that the dog oh, is there. Oh, oh, there oh. is the dog. Oh, he like, he runs off and he runs back to yep. the mayor. Okay. Got it. Reasonable. Yeah, totally. Totally. I mean, dogs have bones. I don't know if you know that. Hey, no, you know it's like are you supposed to not give your dog like chicken bones, right? Like they crack and splinter. And yeah, yeah. You want like like big, big solid like ones, like big solid bones. bones. Okay. You're all about them big solid bones. I am. Penises. <laughs> no, no, you're not doing it right. I was never very good at any window, to be honest with you. Uh, just right. I'm out a there. little too blunt. Okay. And there we go. I don't know. This stuff is yeah. making me giggle. Yeah, I, I think when the when the game isn't very knowing about it, when it's a little yeah. bit more fourth wally, like yeah. I think that's when it's at its best. Mm. This is also the first woman character I've actually <laughs> encountered in this game, uh, even going all the way through this level. So, mm. she is the uh, the wife of the mayor. She is very unpleasant. No. Oh. Mm, she doesn't look very happy. No. She's also got this kind of weird mushy animation going on. Yeah. She's like. Mm. 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 Oh wow, this place looks good. Yeah. Uh okay, what? These Does are all the people who are hanging out. Around. On his head? Uh he's just got Oh garbage. He's he's got like fucked up Skrillex hair more than anything else. Oh. That's that's kinda it's like the shaved but long kind of thing going on. See? Really? Yeah. Wait, you sure that's not like a piece of lettuce? I guess it could be a piece of lettuce. I don't know. I assume. Oh, that he was looks just... like he came out of the water. It's like seaweed and coral. There's oh, that's what it is. There we go. Oh, You're yeah. right. You're right. I wasn't looking that closely at it. Got it. So here's what happened to this guy. <laughs> he was on that <laughs> yeah. on that boat cruise. Ship. The, uh, the the space cruise ship w is not the only Fifth Element reference you will find in this game. All right. Oh, then I am way more in. Yeah. That is definitely I, something I definitely appreciate about this game is a love of that weird ass movie. That movie's pretty great. Oh, it's it's awesome. Yeah. It's it's a mess, but it's one of my favorite messes Club of all sci-fi. Yeah. yeah. Now let's go talk to uh, to one of the Galaxy Sisters over here. Do you get a multi pass? No, but when you talk to her, one second. Mm -hmm. You're looking for it. There you go. About Plava Laguna. Yep. I was so when that lady sung in Fifth Element, mm -hmm. I was never impressed. Maybe I should have been more impressed. I don't know. Some hard octaves to hit. I guess Granted, they were autotuning the shit, shit out of that, but you know. I don't know. Everybody's, imagine if someone could actually make away. their voice do that. <laughs> That's yeah. hard. All right. She's like an alien, though. All right. So I gotta get out of here. I'm just talking to people, kind of getting sure. some, some of the, the, the color of the environment here. Uh, and then we got this executioner dude. Yeah. That's a weird thing to say to a person. I've used that before. It doesn't work. Yeah. Neck compliments <laughs> don't really do it for you. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Remember that, because uh, that's going to actually be an important detail later on. I missed on. it. Uh, he, he, he tells him I was to learn knitting. Oh, okay. I was yeah. looking at his mustache. That is a weirdly important detail uh, for later on. Yeah, I feel like there could be a little more sound design. Yeah. Even even if it's not a voiceover. There's some music in there, you know, in a lot of these environments, but every once in a while it just kind of cuts out like this, and mm -hmm. so you're just, here is silence, here is the sound of me clicking while I read this. All right. Decent amount of dialogue. <laughs> like, decent amount of dialogue. Uh -huh. Yep, this is still going. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are we so strict? Because there are rebels. Oh. That's who the, the, the fellow in the bush was earlier. He was one, oh. of, the, one of the rebels. All right, so and Why we, are you on this planet again? You're here because you'd heard that this was a, a planet that was being attacked by the oh, the, the, the evil space lord, okay. but he is not actually here yet. Oh. Um, and they don't know that they're targets of an attack coming. Got it. So you are, you are sort of trying to explain to them, hey, shit's about to go down while they're in the middle of dealing with their own bullshit. Okay. Mm, the meat market. Are you, uh, do you ever use items... Uh, on other things, or is it just like find this thing? 
there's a couple of items that were multi-use that I found, but most have been like single instance, and then you kind of lose it. Uh, right. Other than well, like your communicator, amazing. which you have here, uh, and this this sonic spanner, which occasionally comes in handy. for Ah, stuff. your sonic spanner, got it. Yeah, which is you know space wrench. Yeah. Castle Way player. better than All right, so I've seen everything there kind of is to see here. There's a couple of other spots, but it's just like single dialogue lines, and that's it. Mm. So I'm going to ask her again about what's going on out there. Yeah, that's always the response you want from politicians yeah. when you ask about a dead person. Like, why are you asking so many questions? Maybe, you know, questions get people killed. The rubber hood. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Oh, look at that banana down there. That, mm -hmm. that banana is just a straight dick and ball. Yeah, there's, there's some that deeply is, phallic fruit on this planet. That is no innuendo at all. That's in your face, yo. That is that is straight up a dick. Check out that dick. Are you going uh, deeper I'm going into back the to the woods to find the rebels now because I know that's where they're hiding. So I'm going to go back to this this bush person here. So you couldn't... You couldn't do this before you had to go through all those other... Yeah, you have to do, uh, like, all those dialogue okay. bits before you even... Like, if I tried coming over here beforehand, like, I would just keep saying, this is not that interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so he says... Do something? So he says, trust no one. All right, fine. Well, now I know where the rebels are. So now I have to go back to the castle. You know, I don't... Enjoy this part of adventure games. I'm not, I, I'm not enjoying this part of this adventure game where it's just kind of like clicking through screens. I don't either. It's like, I understand why this kind of design exists, but it just... This is a game that would definitely s serve itself better by getting to the point a little bit more. Sure. But then you'd have like like a 10 minute game probably. Yeah, I know. Uh-oh. But now there's a doings of transpiring. Oh no. Oh no. That is uh, the crazy Merlin, who is uh, an anti-government conspiracy theorist okay. and also uh, a mad scientist. Sounds right. So the whole point of this planet is that it's just a settlement of humans who wanted to live a medieval life. Like, it's you like know, a giant Ren fair. It's like that episode of Star Trek Next Generation where they rescue the, the refugees from the ancient Irish planet. Wow. Where a bunch of colonists from Ireland went to go live like it was still like 18th century Ireland. I may have missed that one. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the many episodes where Riker gets it on with one of the people on the planet, so... Okay. Yeah, an early in instance of so that. So you're saying out there in the Star Trek universe, there are whole planets now that have been seeded by... <laughs> by cosplayers, more or less, yes. <laughs> well, I was going to say by uh, number two. Is he number two? I mean, he's number one. He's number one. Who's number two? I guess Data, maybe? Who's number three? They don't go that far. I, you know, Worf? I'm not. Maybe Doctor Crusher. I honestly have no idea. I, the, 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 the structure of all that, I, I've kind of. How lost. far do you think it goes? Out? I'm number 172 in I mean, line. So there's over a thousand people on the ship. I bet there is a straight up ranking. You know, like like Stonecutter style. Sure. Everyone just has a number in terms of command structure. I'm a thousand and three. I got a long way to I'm go. I'm also a child who actually is not in Starfleet. So <laughs> you know, that's. I probably don't even need to be on this list. Well, maybe it's like, you know, maybe it's like infants or something. Like, after a while, you just stop counting in months. Yeah. Maybe you're just like, I don't know. I'm uh, I'm never going to be commander. Yeah. So she just gave me this uh, industrial strength makeup covered tissue, which just melted this lock. Nice. Which is a very reasonable way to get out of a jam like this. I'm just going to walk out here. And just these guys walk are right, like, yeah. We're, yeah. we got other shit to deal with. We're, right. We don't care. Here's our, here's our boy, Justin. Where should I go? So do you find that you have to kind of go through every dialogue option because you might... Not everything. Like, there is some dialogue I found that just had no tie to anything going on. But if you miss, like, if you don't click on some, are you, can you not solve a puzzle? Uh, there are some where you're just, you have to hit the right dialogue bit. Otherwise, the puzzle becomes unsolvable. unsolvable. Okay. And that's the last time I will get to use that, so... I'm going through the sewer to get out of here. Doesn't seem like... Oh, look at that little mouse. He's adorable. He will come into play later on. Uh, doesn't seem like you're ever holding on to more than, like, 
uh, a couple of items at a time, like the, the yeah. puzzle item. So far, the most I've had at a time was like four. Okay. Um, the way the inventory looks, it seems like you can probably hold a lot more than that. Like, there's yeah. lots of space here. Totally. I just don't think I've gotten that far yet. Yeah. And this is still the beginning of the game, right? This part here? Yeah, this is, this is again, this is the first world you go to. Right. Um, You're back here again. Yep. Now I gotta actually have to go try to talk to the rebels um, and get to their camp. So what's different now? Hmm. Okay, because now the she put you in jail. Yeah, because you you showed somehow that you were allied with the allied with the the rebels. Yeah. So there's a note here. Okay. And that's kind of like everything else here is just kind of nothing. So. Now I have to go back to the original field that I started in because that is where they are scouting. Or at least that is where the, the lead guy, the rubber hood, huh. is hanging out. So we're going to go meet him now. Is he just in latex? Yep. He is, a, he is way into rubber. That's all right. He's got nothing but rubber on. And I think, you know what? That's that's what does it for you. Yeah, go for it, man. I sweaty in the heat, but who am I to judge? So, you think this is going to turn into some kind of like um, this is like some kind of Mass Effect style thing where you're recruiting the heroes of all these worlds? To come based on how this area ends I don't think so okay um, because like this guy doesn't come with you okay. when all is said and done like you just go back to the ship after kind of you know stuff ha uh, we'll, we may get through this <laughs> okay. whole thing by the end of this uh -oh. we'll see because I kind of remember how to do everything now yeah. but mm-hmm don't listen to her man It's a fair point. Yeah. They always need somebody. Aliens, man. Right. I mean, there are aliens. There are! In yeah. this game, there, there right. are actually aliens. Yeah, I don't, I'm not digging the, like, kind of, like, go here, talk to this person, come back, go here, talk to this person, come back. That That is... I think that works better when the dialogue that you're, you're, you're presenting is so charming and so funny that you don't mind having to wander around to get more of it. Sure. And some of that is charming enough, I think, but not all of it. And there's more walking around than there is enjoyable dialogue, at right. least so far. It's, it, just, right, it just seems like a little more uh, go here to see this bit and come back and less of like, I'm gonna solve a puzzle. Right. And it's like, at this point, the puzzle solving has boiled down to figuring out how to acquire the right item just to do a thing. Right, not like... At any given point. It doesn't, at least it doesn't seem like a pixel hunt. Like, you're just kind of like... No, because it, it, so far, in, in just about every environment I've been in, uh, there's like a few things you can click on. Right. So it's not like there's tons of stuff. Right. Hey, buddy. How's that rat doing? Yeah, still too fast. So we're going back. <laughs> What's up, bros? No, no, nothing. That is one of the running gags. It seems like everyone is is gossiping about your breakup oh. with the guy uh, wherever wherever you go. Oh, it's hard. Social media. I know, tough. right? Especially in space. <laughs> I am having a wonderful time. So we're going back to the dungeon. So what? Uh, what is your objective? Oh no. So our boy Justin has been imprisoned. Mm -hmm. Can you get him out? Eventually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Preach. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I can go here. That's gonna let you right in, huh? Well, so I can't go see the king. Like that's uh, what they're guarding is the king. Oh, he's got a love robot. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk to the robot here in a second. All right, I've already talked to him. I don't need to talk to him anymore. What's Flirtbot up to? Oh no. <laughs> Pfft. 
Also, this music. Yeah, the music in his area is is <laughs> kind of great. It's real good evil scientist music. Yeah. Oh. Like Bella Lugosi should yeah, be, you know, totally. working in a lab here in an Ed Wood movie. Okay, so this this actually does become important in a moment because sure, it seems like it. <laughs> that's a thing where I have to come back to. Does Flirtbot become important? Uh, eventually. Okay. Yeah, he's not just there. He's there eventually to, to actually do... No, wait, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I want to go back out. And this, another thing I don't super love is that sometimes it's hard to find the, the place that you have to click oh. to do sure. what you need to do. Mm-hmm. What's a sneep? Sneep are those things that you saw wandering oh, around in the field earlier okay. on. The like. Chicken, okay, so what you sheep. need at this point uh, is to find a way to launch a sneep from that cat catapult because that's supposed to signal to the rebels. Oh, that yeah, it's that time. It's time. I'm not sure if I've actually gotten that. Yeah. Okay. So I have gotten that dialogue. So here's how I'm going to go about that. Uh, I'm going to dress this rat up like a sneep because there are no more sneeps around. Oh. Do you like flying? Okay. Can you fly, Bobby? <laughs> yeah. All right, so I gotta go find him a costume, and the way I do that. And this is so you found that you have to do all these things in order. Mm, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. If you if you talk to someone at the wrong time, they won't have the dialogue tree that you Boy, need. Oh, that would kill me. Yeah. Can I what? wrap your balls? Uh, ah, wool! Boom! Boom! Bales, bales, man, come on. Yeah. Oh. Well, I so this took me forever to figure out, and then of course it's the dumbest thing because I had just come from here at the time. Right. Go back. Oh, hey, check out. Oh, that. Here's this leftover wool. That's not fair. That's just there. No. Hey, Justin. I'll see you, Justin. Bye, Justin. All right, now I have to go back to him. Is he gonna knit you a sneep costume? Yeah. Actually, I should have to get out of this, and then I just have to drop this wool on the boy here. Click. Damn it. Ugh. Yeah, sometimes this menu doesn't also... Mm. You have to drag it? You can't just click on it? I'm trying. Ah. There it is. Okay. I think I was trying to drag before it officially clicked, it. and that was what was screwing me up. Like, some of the UIs that I, I like, wish sometimes <laughs> the text... Uh-huh. The text would uh, wait for the frame yeah, to come out. You know. Yeah, That's just, That is very nitpicky. All right, so now we're back to, to the rat. I've okay. got the costume. Drop that Sneep costume on him. Oh. That's not the thing. That's, ooh, he's not going to like that. Yeah, that would transport him back to the ship, which is not what you want to do. Okay. All right, so we got our disguised rat. Now we can go to the tower. Watch his butt wiggle as he walks. Mm-hmm. Hi, guys. What's up? You can just launch that thing there. I'm just gonna go up there now. Don't yeah, uh, no, don't just, anyone mind me. Stand there. I do like the art for this game. I think it's well drawn. You know, I the, and there's not a lot of animation, but for yeah. a game that seems like it's sort of you know built on the cheap, I think that it's got a distinctive style to it. Sure, the character portraits are nice. Yeah, it's, it's got that a certain style. Right. No. Nope. That's your spanner. Okay. Hello. Hi. Do it to it. Yeah. Whee! That's Oh, hey, look, that thing was like all 3D. <laughs> He's psyched. Wait, his army. Oh, no. So that's bad news. Is that a piece of it? Yeah, so we gotta pick this up. Oh! And this also took me a minute to figure out because I didn't see this down here, but there's a parapet oh. there that you have to tie that Holy rope to. Holy crap! Okay, And no. that's how you get out of there. Good for you. Uh, that, that definitely took a few minutes to find. Otherwise, you couldn't get down? Or, or that's how you get out of there, because the thing fell over and that was too heavy to, for him to lift. Oh, so. so you'd be trapped up there? Uh, at least there's only one area to click around in. At that right. point. So, that's that. Oh, hi. Everybody's now they're by. going to arrest me again. Okay. It's true. He is kind of, you are kind of aiding the rebellion. 
I didn't even realize this dude was the head of the guards before until they started talking about it. That might have been in a dialogue bit I missed somewhere, uh -huh. but... That's nice. Yeah, that's an alright piece of business. So he wants to do unspeakable things to you. Wait, so he's still going to arrest you? Even though he wants to get the hell out of there? Yeah. All right. Tough world. All right, now I have to remember what I did here, because this took a minute to figure out as well. Oh, uh, what was it? Yeah. I, uh... Pick the lock with that? Yeah, that was it. So you, you, sir! That was not as hard as I remember it being. Oh, genius. <laughs> Flirtbot is maybe my favorite part of the game so yeah, far. Yeah, so far I'm, I'm kind of enjoying he's actually Flirtbot. He's actually pretty, pretty cute. Uh, Alright, so I need to get out of here. Uh, and the way I do that is I hook up this communicator to that because otherwise oh. the thing is there's a dampening in device you find out if you try to escape from there otherwise oh okay and if you try to go outside they're just going to shoot you shoot you yeah like you die you would well no they just tell you you can't go out there because oh. they will kill you oh so i'm back here now oh, of course you lost your clothes but my except uniform except it doesn't right. actually matter because i'm going to go right back to the planet you just needed to i just needed to get out of that spot sure will you at least keep the clothes in your inventory i think so but it's also right there, yeah. if not, so... That's so weird. We keep leaving those clothes. Just, it's just there. Do you have to get dressed? Ah, uh, no. You know, yeah. let's not. Let's see what happens if I just make him walk around all, In you know... tidy whities Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. He's just not going to respond to me until I put clothes on. Fine. I found this to be a solution to many problems. Yeah. All right. There. That was it. <laughs> you got to go back there? So I think the implication here is that he might actually be the only rebel. Oh. There might not actually be a rebel army anywhere. Well, he was talking to the sheep. Sheep yeah. Sneeps. So I gotta find the executioner. Uh, what happened? Oh, that's what happened to the executioner over here. He done got executed? Looks like someone... His booty's kind of bubble yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of bubble butts going on. Definitely. Hmm. Are you gonna beam to their ship? I am not. But. 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 No, I'm just talking about butts. Oh yeah, his butt. Yeah. It's like a, it's like Stimpy's butt. You know, it's just like it's just it's just like two giant <laughs> two round things. Balls. Yeah. All right, so I can't actually wait. I forgot I can't go in there because that dude won't let me in. Because you're supposed go, to be. I can go back through the sewer. Dead. Well, I'm supposed to be still captured in in the dude's lab, who did not do a whole lot no. to stop me from getting out of there. But nope. you know, whatever. Yeah, it's tough to move when you don't have that many frames of animation. Or off frame. Yeah, when you're just kind of stuck standing there forever. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch life pass you by. Oh, uh, what's the next thing I need to do? Oh, is that the uh, yeah the, like hint system? So I have to go. I think I have to go talk to Merlin about this. Oh, and so you have an eyeball there. You could be looking at descriptions of every item as well. Yeah, is that what the eye would be? So I gotta show him this communicator. I think that's oh, how we how we convince theory. him that this is what. Maybe that's not the. Try and try again. Try again. I don't know. He's not interested in. Mm. Uh, who am I supposed to talk to? I can't remember now. Flirtbot. There's this other room. This is Whoa. this is a room that we don't do anything in yet. Okay. Uh. Can you go see the king? No, he still can't go see the king. I think maybe. Let me see what happens if I try to put this over here. Can't put that there. I'll walk right through the cage. Oh uh, wait, here we go. I remember now. Give it the flirt bot. This is where flirt bot becomes useful. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, so I gotta go back to the Snape <laughs> the Snape field. Oh, the walking. So no double click on that door and just like go, huh? Not that I found. All right, so I gotta go back to the. Oh, you know, I sort of you sort of jump a little yeah? bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's how much you get. I'm in. So it doesn't it doesn't just switch the next thing, but yeah. it doesn't warp him over Great. there. Great. I wonder if that works for walking anywhere. Do it again. Oh yeah, it seems like you can go yeah, anywhere. You can just work. Good on them. That's at least good something. job. Yes. Yeah. I'm I'm the idiot for not realizing that you can do that. That is great. Oh wait, I have to go back to the state field. Wait, where are you going? What? Well, that was weird. That was not what it was supposed to happen there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you get a little bit of a warp there. Totally. So now what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go talk to this. I'm gonna talk to Flirtbot. Yes. Ready. And then they transport away and, uh, damn it. All right, so hopefully this is the last time I have to go through here to do stuff, but I think we are actually nearing the end of this 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 bit. Don't forget your double click. I forgot If you so click. desire. Oh yeah. That's just making me what? happy. What? Oh no. Things went a little, a little haywire okay. for Flirtbot over here. Creepy crazy. Oh, Sharing a moment with yeah. Flirtbot. Flirtbot, you're an alright dude. You, you know, Flirtbot, you're just a-okay. So how is he going to be convinced now? Mm-hmm, alien invasion, 100 years ago, we come on, we must be able to do it. Okay, so now I actually have to show him this this thing. Oh, now he'll boy. understand. But, but at the time before, he wouldn't yeah. have gotten it. <laughs> invasion. Oh, I'm a fool, Alex. So a now, damn fool. now is when I go over here. Mm -hmm. It's the Maris' bed. Oh, shit. He's got a gun, What's that? Man. Is that the invasion? Well, that's a sun out? up there. Oh, okay. At least that's what it looks like. There's a random Fight Club reference uh -huh. for no apparent reason. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. So she's just trying to take over? Yeah, I mean, she's just tired of being bossed around by all these men. And, mm. you know, she's she's not interested in the rebel plot and all that stuff. And sure. that's, that's a whole other thing. But in, in reality, none of this matters because giant alien invasion sure. fleet is coming. It's, uh, his... See, I, like, again, boner. It's a strong joke. Yeah. Mm. You know, watching their portraits go by, his portrait's there. so detailed. Yeah. Mm. Oh. She, oh, she did. Oh. Now go get her. Now the gun's pointing. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay. What? All right, so we got the de defense key. Got to go find Merlin now. And here come the ships. And oh no, oh. it's too late. Wait, no, it's, it's you do it, man. Fools! All right. Is it too late? It is too late. They have already started bombing. Oh man. That's not a pigeon. Oh boy. Wow. Wow. I could learn a thing or two from this pair. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is what pigeons look like on this planet. Uh, I don't know. All right, so you're wondering here, this is where you actually get to where the king is, and oh, no. Wait, the king's been dead. That dude has not been alive for a long time. <laughs> I like his kind of like wah, 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 yep. portrait. All right. What's that picture? That's the that's Can the you king. look at it? Oh, no. no. Wait, that's where the secret passage was? Apparently. It was just that side of the room. Oh, Justin. Hi, Justin. Hey, Justin. Sup, dude. 
Oh, Justin. Just like you said you would. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but the name of the captain is a Ty I don't know if that's Tycho or Tycho. I always say Tycho. Yeah, Tycho. Tycho Minogue. Okay. Like, as in Kylie yeah. Minogue. But Tycho. Meat Garden. <laughs> is he going to get blasted? No. Okay. He's just going to stare there longingly. Yeah. I, I need to talk to him. I. Wait, what is the thing? Oh, right. I think I have to give him this. What's he going to do with that? He's the one oh! who's been in league with the aliens all along. Twist. Oh, no, Justin. I mean, you know, when you're treated as a servant on a planet like this, I imagine Just the idea a small of... town boy. Man. <laughs> and that's your, your ex-boyfriend, yeah. the space tyrant. Slam me out, oh. Oh. It's very sudden. Oh man. Tough. He's he's right though. Tough. <laughs> no. Is he gonna melt? What? No, oh, he's warping out of there. Yep. Oh, that was touching. They had a little moment there. Mm -hmm. I just gotta get out of here. Oh, is this planet? Is that it? This is this is the end of this planet. There's no oh, really? saving them at this point. Like once the aliens start bombing, that's kind of the end of it. What so you know, real real rough stuff there, well, actually. Yeah. What is the? Oh, geez. Yeah, this whole place I is don't a disaster. Even understand what happened? They but... they bombed the shit out of this castle. What is what happened. What do the aliens want? Uh, that is unclear at this juncture. Oh, other okay. than this dude wants to destroy a bunch of worlds, and so you're kind of like. Yeah, all right, got to stop him. Hmm. All right, time to go. Those they're all they're all cool. They're going to go hang out in the woods and and fight the resistance, the rat and the dog and rubber man. Yeah, they've got a great start. Oh, you gave him the defense key? Yep. Cuz Merwin's still alive, so he could still use it at some point somewhere. But as of this moment, there's nothing else for me to do on this planet. Oh. You can see the aliens, they are marching in and doing their, their, their terrible business. And you're just like, peace, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> There's nothing I can do, because I'm one ship. You okay. know, and like, that's, that, you can't stop an entire invasion fleet with one ship. It's, Alex, it only starts with one ship. All great rebellions start with one ship. And now I'm back. So... Have you seen them, what the next planet is? I haven't yet, so why don't we just go at least yeah. take a look at that. Let's see where we're at. I'm going to say... I'm going to say pirates. You think? Mm, yeah, this will make a little tone of nose, right? Yeah, we'll see. Is there a save? Oh, no, yeah, I, I have I, to manually I, save. I forgot about this scene. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, your ship's captain's gone. There's your bro, Doug. Yeah. Aqualonia. Oh. So it looks like we're going to a water-themed planet. Everybody loves the water level. Yeah. Well, let's at least get there. It's true. You can. That is a saucy elevator. Lift? Lift. Elevator. What? So now we're in the mess hall. Here's this. <laughs> oh, is he from Aqualonia? I, I think he might be. Hey, at least they have the uh, snare hit. You know, Alex, I, I think you might actually be right. I think these might be mermen pirates. Okay. So, well, let's at Wait, least get you, to their Do you need to talk to Captain Stewie over there? Or, oh, I boy. just got to go back to my quarters, um, and then that will be the end of this segment, and then I will, we will go to the next planet.
Something about this just feels a little tedious. It kind of is. I mean, again, there are some some jokes that work, some that don't. I don't know that it's enough to make up for a little bit of the tediousness in, well, right. in actually playing it. So the mechanics and the puzzle solving just seem tedious. It seems like a vehicle for the jokes, and when they are okay, they're okay, but when they're not, they're not. But then the actual playing of it... Yeah, it's not, it's not great. It's definitely not great. Let's go see Aqualonia. Let's see what this place is all about. In a shuffling madness. My Aquilonia song. It's pretty good. Didn't really need to know that, but thanks, Lyft. <laughs> Those are just martinis and... Uh, yeah, just and there's stuff. our million emergency <laughs> cocktail. <laughs> Send me event. to Aqualonia. Uh oh, you're gonna have to sink their jokes. <laughs> That's such a weird gag. Like the every time, the every time you transport. I really yet. hope it pays off at some point. You would hope so. All right, probably need this helmet. Uh huh. You don't want to go outside. Okay. There's a plunger. Okay. That'll probably come in handy at some point. There's an oil leak. What's going on over here? Something large and bulbous. I bet plunger. if I use that plunger. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh no. Oh Wait, no. Wait, is that... Wait, that's one of the bad guys though, right? Yep. Or no? Is that is, I of, think, of one of... that race? I think he is one of the bad guys. Okay. Hi, welcome boy! <laughs> Hello. Hmm. <laughs> He's not very happy anymore. Aww. Or at least they're all not pirates. Yep. Definitely grab this novelty sea sponge yeah. over here. You never know. That'll probably come in handy. Okay. It's too bad. Wait. Okay. Handy. Oh, wow. You can actually look at the map now? Let's see. Can you click on places? Oh. oh. Yeah, can you, like, fast travel? But you have to uh, go there first. All but right, then this, all right. this is actually... Okay. I mean, again, you know, at the last level, there probably weren't enough areas mm. to where that was necessary, but that, like is that is good that they have that. Yeah, or these long tubes. Don't forget, you can double-click. Oh, yeah. I'm sure yeah. that. Yeah, like you can, it seems like uh oh, seems like you can move around pretty quickly now. Can we talk to this dude? Should we talk to this dude? Are you just cruising through? I'm not even doing anything. Just okay. Uh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. I think that might have been a slight glitch. What's over here? I'll just let go over here. Oh, my God. To travel to. Oh, okay, so I went in there, but. Hmm. You don't, you don't want to talk. I mean, you can't fast travel until you. Uh, I can't go to the other areas until right. I've I, or fast travel those until I've. Actually and use your there. sponge on that leak, or you can't do anything because he's gonna see you. Oh, adventure games. All right, so nothing I can do in did there. Get your plunger back. I do still have my. You know, maybe I can get the plunger. Let me see if I can pull that off his ass. <laughs> it will not let me take that off. You just you click on it, but nothing. But nothing. Hmm. You let's get go, those balloons. Let's go to that other airlock. Maybe I can go in there. Oh no, that's the outer airlock. I don't want to go out there. That's yeah, not a good can idea. you touch any of those buttons there? None of those buttons were doing okay. anything when I was over there. Let's see. Where are you now? Oh, the Vulcan Dome. Got I it. believe so. Huh. Can you can't I go, just, yeah, can't just. I can't seem to go past any of this right now. So you can't just head over, there's not another screen to your left? 
No, it's not letting me go do. anywhere over there. I'm sure there's probably a thing that I'm just missing, but I think sure. that's a pretty good taste of what my ex-boyfriend, the Space Tyrant, has to offer. So available on Steam now? On Steam now. All right, thanks, Alex. Thanks, Vinny.